Hi you guys, it's your girl Ana Bea, BKA Veruca Honey, and I'm back at it again with another video. Y'all, this video is different. Um, right now I'm at the Women's Pregnancy Center because I did take a pregnancy test because my cycle was supposed to come yesterday. She didn't, but I was cramping very bad. So some just told me to go take a pregnancy test i took it expecting it to come back negative like all the other times and then my effort came back positive so here we are next day i'm here and just to like confirm you know that i am pregnant which i took four tests they all came back positive but i'm still in disbelief and shock so yeah i just wanted to like record this intro uh yeah so this is gonna be like the beginning of like my new journey or whatever and i just want you guys to come along with me i plan on documenting the entire thing and everything that i learned along the way i'll be sharing with you guys so let's go What do you want me to sit at? Anywhere? Anywhere. <laughs> so how are you feeling today? Are you good? I feel okay. Okay, that's great. Um, so I do have a few questions for you. Uh -huh. And have you ever tested positive for pregnancy? Well, except for yesterday. Okay. <laughs> yeah. Oh, okay. Alright, um, so you have no kids. Okay. Um, are you having any symptoms of pregnancy right now? Just like my lower like here. Okay. Cramping in my back, but that's it. Okay. Um, any nauseous appetite change, sore breath? Mm, no. <laughs> no. Okay. Uh, frequent urination, uh, fatigue, anything? Maybe fatigue. Okay. Yeah. Um, any recent illness, any medical conditions, or take any medication? You know what? I had went to the doctor like two weeks ago because I thought I had strep, uh -huh. and then I had like a fever and stuff, and I went, and she said it ain't none of that, so I don't know. She don't know what it was. was. <laughs> okay. Yeah. Um, do you smoke or drink? Oh uh, yeah. Okay. I smoke like hookah and I drink. Yes. Okay. Um, are you under any stress right now? Not really. Okay. Just like emotional, like since yesterday. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. All right. So, um, your test is positive. So congratulations on that. Yay! Yay! <laughs> and so, um, what is your initial feelings about the pregnancy? Like, how do you feel? Uh, I was happy. Okay. Have like mixed emotions, like um, I don't know. Mm -hmm. You don't know how to feel. No. <laughs> so um, I do want to let you know that um, we are a pregnancy center, but we do offer a lot of assistance. So if you ever need anything don't hesitate to call us um we do assist uh, you know help you with anything with baby until baby is 36 months so anytime if you need pampers anything call us we're here to come um, help you okay um we do offer free parenting classes um it is at our down i'm sorry fifth ward location um but it's free service they provide you with gifts for baby but it's a lot of good information um i can definitely just give you you know the contact information if you decide to sign up just shoot her email she'll put you on schedule okay um, give me a second. I'm going to go ahead and get you in the system and, um, and I'll step out and get you some information. Okay. Okay. So, I'm just leaving the women's pregnancy center and I am definitely pregnant. Not sure how far along. I'd say a few weeks. I don't know. I'm having mixed feelings. It's like at first I was really happy. And then now I'm just like. 
I don't know. I don't know. It's supposed to be a happy time, but I don't feel 100% happy, honestly. I'm having mixed feelings. But, you know, they say, like, a baby is a blessing. Some people can't have kids. So, I feel blessed that I'm even able to be able to get pregnant and, like, have a baby. So, yeah, I'm just leaving. Um, I'm headed home. I just ate a banana. I'm hungry, y'all. I'm so freaking hungry. Right now, I'm also eating these uh, white cheddar cheeses. I need to figure out like what am I supposed to be eating because I don't know. I don't know. But um, yeah, I have an appointment a week from now to do an ultrasound to see like exactly how far I am. And yeah, I'm really excited about that. Like, let's see how far I am, which I, I'm pretty sure is only a few weeks, but yeah. A rational safeguard. I mean. Y'all, I'm up in here watching Kevin Samuels. This one right here is called Emasculated Entanglement Syndrome with, you know, the whole Will Smith situation. I'm almost done. I got like 10 minutes left. I've been watching the hell out of some Kevin Samuels. Okay. But anyway, I digress. So I got this from the pregnancy center. So I got like a few things up in here. I don't even know. I have a folder. I guess like with all kind of information and stuff. And then I got Oh, this is my um, paper for me to come back on the 7th, which is like a week and a half from now. It's far from here to do the ultrasound. And um, this is my positive pregnancy test. I told y'all that already. And a little bag of goodies. Like, what? So, I don't even know what's all up in here, but <clears throat> basically, this is what the back looks like. I'm going to open it. <clears throat> There's a little diapy, little huggy diapy up in here. Uh, this is a nursing pad. What is this for? Washable, reusable. Um, it doesn't say what it's for. Let's see. Uh, what? Nursing pad. Do I put them here? I don't know. That might be what it's for. I don't know. Y'all, they gave me some crackers. How they knew I was going to be hungry? Then, there's some little baby socks. A little baby spoon. They gave it pink. That mean I'm having a girl or no? And then, there's this little baby up in there it's like a little Mardi Gras baby and then um yeah this is a card and this is some body wash it don't say baby but it just say body wash I mean a random thing and what else oh okay they have a lot of stuff in this bag y'all they got some cleaners because they know my ass be crying. Y'all, when I tell y'all I have been crying non-stop. I can't stop crying. That's why I'm like, let me put the TV on. Let me watch something because I just keep on crying. I just can't stop crying. So they have these little pamphlets. One says father love letter, uh, true love, and then our daily bread. So this particular... um clinic they're like very spiritual from what i can see and then uh, there are some uh, prenatals i don't know which prenatals i'm supposed to take um i don't even know if i should take prenatals because some people don't take them i don't know and then they have this book oh this is a bible i don't know why i thought this was gonna be a baby book it's a bible i told you they spiritual y'all this is nice this is really nice. So that's 
pretty yeah that's all the stuff that i got from the clinic y'all you just taught me something new yes hey y'all i'm out with my boo she got mommy Anna at the house mm -hmm. we're headed to joey's uptown Whew, i just had to climb some stairs on <laughs> <laughs> I'm out of breath. Oh my god. But yeah, it's about to be a lot tonight. Only gonna have mocktails and maybe an appetizer. Yeah, I'm gonna be the the sober one tonight. <laughs> I don't want to be sober. So last night was last night was something. It was really something. So last night, Shay Shay and I we went to Joey's Uptown. Y'all seen all the footage from that. It was cool. Everything was great. I had a um mocktail and I also had like a little appetizer or whatever. And then after that, we ended up going to this club called Mr. X. At first, it was so weird for me because usually whenever I go out, I'm never really sober, you know what I'm saying? So it was it was an experience, but you know, I was drinking up all the juice, all the OJ and cranberry and stuff like that. And everybody else was vibing and stuff, and I was sitting down feeling thirsty, like damn, I can't have no Remy, I can't have nothing, like what the fuck? But, you know, as the vibe went on, I started dancing, started having fun had a good time then after that we went to the after hour spot y'all why was up in there vibing so i probably was the only one sober in the club most likely was the only one sober in the club i was vibing i had myself a good time so today is the next day i'm getting ready for a birthday party my baby gonna have so much fun with me y'all she's he or she is gonna enjoy being with me because we still gonna be doing stuff we not we ain't chilling we just gonna modify some things. So right now I'm having a topless mimosa. I think the bottomless mimosa is whenever you don't have no juice. If I'm not mistaken, correct me if I'm wrong. But we're having a topless mimosa because all we're having is OJ. Hey y'all, so it is the next day. I didn't vlog at all at the party. Um, It wasn't really much to vlog. It wasn't really much to vlog, honestly, but, um, yeah. I had a, a decent time, though. I stayed there only, like, three hours. I got invited by a friend. So, it was a friend of a friend type of invitation or whatever. But, right now, I am on Westheimer. Um, I'm about to go to this place called Lockborn. Um, probably gonna have a mocktail and an appetizer and some food food i'm excited about that y'all i'm just pulling in um this is what i have on a little red dress it's just the way i have y'all multi you can't really see anything but i'm about to go in in a few hold on wait yeah i do need this one okay i'm about to go in in a few i'm 
excited, y'all. I had a taco today, and it was okay. You know, like, whenever you're in your feelings about something, <laughs> and you just got a lot on your mind, food don't be tasting the same. Like, I see why some people don't eat when they're stressed out. So, young girls, young girls, keep them legs closed. I'm talking to myself, too, because after this one, whoo, baby. I don't know if these legs could be opening for nobody. I don't know, baby. They sell toys for a reason. Okay? Y'all, I need to lace up my shoes so I can get up out of here. But, oh, I ain't trying to get the people in them. <laughs> yeah, I'm about to get out and get going, so. Oh, this is too cute. Oh my gosh. I do. Okay. I'm about to try the gumbo. I heard it was amazing. So, let's see. It looks good. Okay. Look at you making suggestions. We'll do. So, I heard the burger was amazing. I already cut it in half, so I'm about to try it. Let me see what it looks like, pop my home. I don't know if I can open my mouth this way. <laughs> hey y'all so i am back at this pregnancy center again and it's because today i'm supposed to find out like how far i am and stuff and i'm really excited about that i'm pretty sure like i said it's only a few weeks probably like four five weeks something like that so yeah um i'm here i'm here early i'm here early oh my god because I'm, I'm nervous like i'm ready to get it over with for real um yeah i don't know what else to say i'm pretty sure today is gonna be like the last day of the vlog um yeah i'm looking very matronly besides you know i had to give him a little something you know what i'm saying but this dress is very matronly like and i got my nails done blue for boy because cam is just so convinced that it's going to be a boy and i'm convinced that it's going to be a boy too i already have his name picked out and everything unless you know somebody comes in and say no his name gonna be this but i already kind of have a name picked out and stuff but yo i'm here i'm here Thank you. 